I know you guys are saying, what? Look who dropped in. Yeah, I'm kicking out the videos today while I have time. Um, it's been crazy around here. I had my um, high school senior. He graduated. I had my fifth grader. She's moved up to um, sixth grade. They had a moving up cel celebration. Um, not so much a graduation, but a ceremony celebration type of thing. So things was really, really busy for me from May up to now. So here we are in June. And I am finally relaxing after a week home in New Orleans and dealing with birthday parties, Father's Day, Tristan's birthday. Tristan actually turns five on this upcoming Wednesday. Yay! And we are getting ready for kindergarten with him and a new school and a new teacher. And everything is just, ugh. Come August, my world is going to be flipped upside down. So, um, come the new school year, 2012-2013, I will have a 10th grader, a 6th grader, and a kindergartner. Wow. You know, after my youngest daughter's like, oh, I'm done. And, of course, a lot of you know that Tristan was a surprise to me and my husband when I found out I was pregnant at 5 months and everything. So, it's it's been kind of crazy. So, I just wanted to stop in. I may even try to post some pictures in between here or towards the end of everything. But I wanted to show you guys because, um, Philly Diva, mm -hmm, this video is because of you. I actually bought these shoes to wear to my oldest son's graduation, but I decided to wear something else because I wanted to be able to move and walk. But I will keep the shoes because they are just classic. I just really, really love them. So I actually bought these from shoedazzle.com and this is a signature um pink collection and these are called solara and they are in a new i got them in a nine and a half because they had a strap so my next purchase i may get those in um a nine to see and make sure if i buy something else i have enough time to send them back so i normally wear in between a nine and a ten and i'm kind of weary about buying shoes online because they're either too big or too small or they just don't fit. So with these, by these having a strap, I was like, yes, they fit. So in each purchase that you get from Shoe Dazzle, you get a pink little um, shoe bag. And that is the bag. And these are the shoes. They are new pumps and they have a strap. And of course, it wouldn't be nothing without the pink bottoms not the red bottoms but the pink bottoms so i can and it's like a suede like a fake suede a folk suede um type of material because i did not want that shiny look so the the um the ankle strap does have the kind of shiny look but the rest of the shoe does not and the heel um is like almost like a fake leather type of um material so these are them and it's like i said before it's from this um signature collection and this is solara and i will put the link um for solara in the description box so um i haven't really been doing too much shopping not buying too much because something i started new was um and i need to start at least this week is doing my menu for the month and I noticed we're doing my menu for the month. I cook enough like right today is Sunday. So my husband is in there following the menu for tonight, which is meatloaf, mashed potatoes, corn, garlic bread, and salad. The meatloaf should last us to Monday and to, to, to Monday. Then Tuesday we do our usual pot pies. And then I cook something on Wednesday that should last us Wednesday and Thursday. And then Friday we can do pizza night or tacos or something. But the point is is that we plan it out for the whole entire month. I plan out my grocery list the same way. So I plan out what I want and on the back of the page I plan out my grocery list. So when I go to the store I only get what's needed for that particular week and maybe any other little knickknacks and extras. It's been saving me a whole lot of money and it's been preventing me from overspending on extra stuff that may just sit in the refrigerator that I may not need. And to say that is I noticed that my savings have went up. So 
at the end of the week if I have anything extra and it's a pay week and once again I told you in a previous video about budgeting I throw that in the savings account so actually when we went home for New Orleans we was actually we was able to use money out of our savings account and not use not one penny out of our regular account and that also included on gas I sat down and I went on MapQuest and I you know that's signed up logged in put my vehicle put my highway miles my city miles and I put from here from Texas to Louisiana they told me what the gas price was so I knew round trip how much I was spending in gas and I think MapQuest told me 224 but I think I actually ended up spending like 190 but that's also including driving around the city going to see family so I saved money that way too because I kind of had an outlook of what I wanted to do and I also did the same thing when for as food we went to the store we bought groceries for breakfast and lunch we ate out for dinner and other little knick-knack things so we kind of planned our trip we just didn't go and you know just go all crazy and just spend so it was actually well worth it and I think I'm gonna go ahead and continue this throughout the summer because my kids do not wear uniforms they wear regular clothes and I have three kids to get ready for school plus um, school supplies but I buy school supplies all during the year and I have a tote and I have extra um, extra stuff before as when my daughter was in kindergarten I would get her the box and that would be enough you know for that but I don't want to keep you guys too much longer so I hope you enjoy your summer your weekend and hopefully I'll make another video soon talk to you guys later bye